Okay, welcome to the lower part of Field of Dreams property in Uganda. This is where our children's homes are going to be. Uh, one of the things we've been doing is getting this property all cleared and getting ready to uh, actually build on this property. Uh, there will be a future home for probably 120 to 150 orphans that will be moving in here. We're building 15 children's homes is what's in the plan. Um, you can see our dogs here. These are our, our... Hello, Zeke. Say hi, Zeke. Come here. Say hi, Zeke. Say hi, Zeke. This is Zeke, and this is Molly, and this is Maggie. Some of you guys know Maggie. But we're going to walk over and show you what we've been doing on this property. Uh, there's been a lot happening in the two months that we've been here, so we'll come over and follow me. Okay, so as you can see here, we've just completed a fencing project. The first thing we needed to do before we could build on this property is to fence it in and secure it. 450 meters of fence have been installed. And something else very cool we just built. Come over here and I'll show you. Something you don't often think about when you're in the U.S. or other places is what you do with your trash. You put it on the side of the road and somebody comes and picks it up and you pay a bill every month. It's not like that here. We have to find a way to dispose of our trash. Um, it hasn't been very easy. So what we've done is actually built an incinerator, if you can see over here. This is also going to be used for medical waste whenever you're dealing with our clinic, which is uh, getting ready to open. We're going to have a lot of medical waste that we're going to need to dispose of properly. So this, this incinerator here will burn at a super hot temperature and pretty much incinerate, get rid of anything that we have, any trash. So we'll walk down now to the lower gate and I'll show you how we're working on that. We're here down at the lower portion of the property and as you can see, we're completing the gate area of our secure area for the children's homes. They're working away. On the other side of the gate, we are planning to put in a football field, which in America we call a soccer field. And so it'll be a great outreach tool to help reach the, the youth, the next generation that's raising up that's going to be um, bringing change and hope to this area. And so that's the way we're going to minister to them. We also, beyond that, have 10, 15 acres that's waiting for you, waiting for a team of agricultural type people to come and help us begin implementing some new processes, some new growing techniques here. We, um, we know that we can raise enough food to feed not only our children at Hope Children's Home and the children that we're going to be bringing out here to Field of Dreams and the Say No to Hunger children, but we can also generate income and resources to help sow back into this project by selling food to the schools that have plenty of money. They're buying food somewhere, so why not buy it from us? And so we're excited about that. We're looking for somebody to come help oversee that project. So we invite you to come and join us. And I want to show you another part of the children's home. Okay, this is our road. We're going to have to do some construction here and work on some drainage. But you can see over here, back in the background, are the short-term housing. And below that is where we have all the children's homes, the pads prepared for the building project. And we're getting ready to begin building children's homes. And I'm out of breath because this property is at such an incline, you get your cardio workout. So there's no need for a gym here. You just walk the road and spend a little time praying and enjoying the scenery. And you get your cardio workout. On this side over here, there's a pad that's cut for the eating and meeting area for the children. Once we get them. And look at this beautiful view. It's so awesome. It is so beautiful here. We invite you to join us on a trip. We're also looking for a long-term team. So we invite you to come and be a part of Show Mercy. We're looking for agricultural type people, looking for people to help us with the new orphans that we're going to bring onto the property, looking for hospitality people to help facilitate the teams that are coming in, um, somebody to help oversee the medical clinic. We'll show you an update on that in just a second too, but we're going to begin facilitating doctors and nurses, so we need somebody to help administrate and oversee that part. And there's so many community um, village outreaches. We're just expanding, expanding, expanding. The opportunities are amazing, and we're just waiting on people to come so we can begin to step out and help more and more people. So we really invite you to come. This Show Mercy is about people working together, living life on purpose. Um, it's a journey and it's fun. So join us. You can find us at showmercy.org and um, or send us an email at info at showmercy.org. So we look forward to hearing from you. So coming out of the gate of Field of Dreams, on the outside here we have our new medical clinic that's supposed to be finished in the next couple of weeks. So I want to take you down and show you, just get a glimpse of what it's looking like. This is 
watch out for the nails. You can see they're working on the tile. This is the entrance. And you can see there's a little window to the left. That's where the pharmacy will be. And there's a couple of exam rooms on each of the ends. A bathroom and a nice porch area for the waiting area. And you can see up here is the well that we, it's a, a water tap that we opened up for the village. And so people from the community will be able to access the medical clinic from the outside. They won't need to come into the compound. And this should be done pretty soon in the next couple of weeks. And we really are in desperate need of some sponsors that have a passion for the medical clinic. We need sponsors to help support doctors that will come in, local doctors and the medicine. And um, that's going to take just, um, we're going to need to generate a budget for that monthly and so if you're interested in sewing five dollars fifty dollars a thousand dollars a month trying to think big um we invite you to do that because it'll be a way for you to sew and to save lives and so thank you so much for being a part of show mercy and this entire project we're excited about the expansion and everything that god's doing through you um find us at showmercy.org and again thanks for being a part